What's up, everybody? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and This Bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, go ahead and hit that description box down below and check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirits, you are welcome in to this reading You must sage the cards for all of my gods. All right, babies. You see the title of the motherfucking video. This is what to expect with this full moon in Taurus. Now, this is a very rare moon, okay? They say that this is a very rare blue moon at the same time. And the reason because it's rare is every 19 years, there's different people in different time zones that will have a full moon, okay, on the on Halloween or the Day of the Dead, Day de la Mortes, whatever you want to call it, okay? But this is rare because every 19 years, it's to be known that the full moon is going to be reached all the way around the motherfucking world, okay? So, um... We know that Taurus is the ruler of Venus, also Libra as well, but definitely Tauran energy. We are going to be in that intermittent uh, vibe of Taurus and Scorpio all at the same time and also Libra going uh, Mercury direct, okay? It's going Mercury retrograde is going direct. So with that being said, we're going to find out the things that you need to see um, and also with each sign, what's going to be taking place. Okay. Uh, the new things and what to expect. So you already know that with the moon, um, being full, there's going to be some emotions or just all together. There's going to be some sort of recharge. Now, I believe that there is a T square that's happening in the size baby. Okay. To where this is going, to, it could be an issue. For some of you Scorpios, some of you Tordans that are on that in between. Now, some of you guys might have both of those uh, elements mixed into your chart. So there might be some differences that might be taking place. But with the full moon, you know that you're going to be charge, recharging your body, recharging yourself. But you also know that there's going to be some changes that will happen and will take place with others. This could be an explosive change as well. Okay, something that you were not expecting to go down, especially with... First of all, Scorpio and Taurus are debilitated whenever they are together, okay? So there's going to be some issues or there's going to be something that's coming arise when these two planets collide together, okay? But that Uranus energy is definitely going to show you what you need to clear out, what needs to come in. So I feel like there's going to be some things you're going to have to value, you know that Taurus is a fixed sign, but it's also an emotional sign as well, too. So I feel like there's going to be some truth that's going to come out. Like I said, you're also going to feel like there's some sort of liberation dealing with or just the feeling of being liberated, dealing with uh, Libra and also that torn energy as we're going direct. Now, when you think of values of the heart and you also think of the moon, this thing, this is clearing the energy out. Some of you guys might be charging crystals. You might be changing your altar, whatever the case may be. This is trying to make a change in your environment, in your mind, in your soul. And I see that that's going to be very, very important, very prominent for a lot of you guys and what's going down. Okay, so I'm going to get one card and almost and also a romance angel for each and every single sign. And I will be going by how I normally go, which is the fire signs, the air signs, the water signs, and then the earth signs, okay? So this is um, what to expect, okay? Or just the overall energies that's going to be happening as this 
as this rare ass moon is getting ready to pop off, baby. Okay, it might be some real, you know, it might be time for somebody to run butt ass naked under the moon or some shit like that. Okay, or somebody needs to put a little carnations in their milk bath. Or just doing some different changes is what I'm getting. Okay, some of you guys are going to be putting in a lot of spell work. There's going to be a lot of be a lot of things that are shouting out to the universe that are going to be casted as well too. So I feel as people are getting their life in order and in restored because of the retrograde. There's going to be a lot of transitions. There's going to be changes that have to take place. And we're going to find out what's going down. So to all of my Leos, let's see what's going down. To all of my Leos, give me one card for my Leos. Of the change that's happening under this rare moon and Taurus. All right, six of swords here. So, Leo, some of you guys might have two people ahead of you, or there could be two different things that you're analyzing. But I'm seeing with this uh, six of swords here, you guys might be looking back, or there could be somebody that you're trying to not really stay in the past. Okay, this could be people that have hurt you. I feel like you're trying to go unseen for some of you Leos or somebody is definitely having to figure out how you're going to keep going forward while you have all of these people um, that you're carrying. OK, or just all together what's going to be happening with the with the people that you're choosing to stay around. OK, because I do feel like some of you guys might be stuck in the past or you feel like you're going to be moving forward, Leos. But there's also somebody who's looking back in the past with the Six of Swords. It could be mental conflict as well. All right. Let's get a romance angel for my Leos. Here we go. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So for some of you guys, you could be thinking about the past or an engagement or a relationship that's going to be a little bit more stronger. For some of you Leos, I'm definitely picking up that you're trying not to stay stuck or stagnant. Or looking at the things that have happened in the past. I feel a lot of you guys are angry about a situation. It not turning out the way that you wanted it to. But I also feel like you're going to be moving forward. Okay. So this is an engagement. This is the higher levels of commitment. Let's see what's popping with my motherfucking Eddies in this bitch. For my Eddies. Give me one card for my Eddies. Okay, so very first card we have here. Let's see. Oh, they, they stuck together. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So, Eddie, you definitely have opportunities, financial opportunities. This could be traveling as well. But I feel with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a new beginning in your finances. Some of you guys definitely are going to be taking on something new. Um, I feel... Whatever this newness is, is going to be setting the tone. Some of you guys could be thinking about homes, home-based decisions, okay, things that are definitely natural to you with this Ace of Pentacles, but also this is a financial bag, baby. It's saying, trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. So whether or not in love or in finances, I'm seeing that for some of you, Eddies, it's something you're going to have to trust with this new move that's coming towards you or this new offer that's coming towards you, okay? So definitely a financial new beginning and also, you know, somebody that you're going to have to trust. This could be trusting someone with your finances as well. Let's see what's popping with my Sagittarius. Here we go. Sagittarius, give me one card for my Sagittarius. We have the 10 of wands in reverse, okay? So you guys are going to be coming out of a struggle. There might have been, you know, you having to push forward a little bit harder in certain opportunities. But with this Ten of Wands here in reverse, I feel a lot of you guys are going to be dropping some old dead weight. Okay, this is letting the past go. It could be other people. This could be uh, <clears throat> the way that you are choosing to love with this unrequited love here as well. Some of you guys just know that there's somebody out there for you. But sometimes you have to go through those situations in order to know if that person is made for you. Or if there's some other match <clears throat> that's being questioned but I feel like there's um, just altogether a burden that's being dropped here, okay? A motherfucker is like, well, fuck you, bitch. That's what, <laughs> that's what I see. So let's see what's popping with my Sagittarius. With my Sagittarius for the 
full moon in Taurus. We have the nine of cups here, Sagittarius. All right, so somebody's going to be seeking their happiness, okay? I also feel some of you guys could be very intrigued by the water or just all together. There's going to be some tranquil energy that's coming towards you, a peace of mind with this nine of cups here, all right? This could be within a relationship. It says calling in your soulmate. I do see her really just, you know, taking some time to mentally reflect. You could be dealing with Ketcher Pisces Scorpio as well, but I feel like she's closing her eyes to really visualize what it is that she wants for her partner, his or her partner to do in this situation or what they're wanting out of it. I feel your affirmations, you're going to have to do something every single day to have that peace of mind is what I'm getting here after this moon. Okay. So let's see what's popping with my air signs. I'm going to start out with my Gemini's. Gemini, give me one card for my Gemini's. For this full moon in Taurus, give me one card for my Gemini's. All right, five of pentacles in reverse. So Gemini, um, someone could have been suffering. You could have shut someone out. You could have blocked motherfuckers. You could have blocked negative energy. Some of you guys might be thinking about abandonment as well and trust issues with this five of pentacles. This also could be about finances as well. I feel like you're no longer suffering for some of you Gemini's, but I'm also getting that this could be with people all together. Okay. There's no longer someone who's, um, calling for attention or there is some sort of, um, change that's happening where you're no longer sh feeling shut out. You're getting this warm vibe, warm feeling with this five of pentacle energy here, Gemini. We also have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So, yeah, I feel like there is something that's becoming tighter, a bond that's closer or closely, more closely connected with this engagement here. Your love life is becoming higher, especially if you definitely wanted to start over, because I do get that with the five of pentacles that somebody's wanting to start all the way over. All right. Um, but it also could be that for some of you guys, you were suffering at some point in time. This could have been your body. Okay, with that pentacle energy, this could have been physical, material, whatever the case may be. You're no longer, you're going to have the materials that you need. So, let's see what's going down to my motherfucking Libras in this bitch. Libras. We have the hair of fonts. All right, so for some of you guys, this could be an institution, a building, your spirituality, a heightened level of your spirituality, seeing things at peace with this Hierophant energy here. This also could be um, your morals, your ethics, the things that you're doing from day to day standard as well. This could be commitment is what I'm seeing here. Also could be a marriage, like I said, but I feel like with uh, the Hierophant energy, a lot of you guys are taking on a more spiritual heightened time okay this could be in relationships whatever now it says finances and career this also could be an institution for some of you guys but i definitely see that you guys are on your motherfucking money libras with this finances and career some of you guys are doing things based off of offers and opportunities okay so a lot of finances coming your way libra you also could be concentrating more on your finances than you are romance all right so let's see what's popping with my motherfucking Aquarius in this bitch. Aquarians. Give me one card for my Aquarians. You have the four of swords. Okay, so somebody might need to take a break, go into meditation, some sort of relaxation. I feel a lot of you guys just need to sit your motherfucking ass down for some of you. This could be your partner as well, too, or just other things that are taking place. But it's definitely time to rest and relax. I feel like somebody got some coochie cobwebs or something that's going on because you got a whole bunch of cobwebs. But it does look like, to me, you need to take a break, okay? Or there's a break that's going to be happening. Some sort of ref reflective meditation is what I'm getting here, okay? Or something is being silenced as well. Or there could be just some of you guys who are having to... You know, just take a step back. You have let your friends help you, Aquarians. So you might be getting some information. You might be getting a phone call or just talking to the people that you feel very well connected with or having to take a break and then coming to a conversation that could help you and ask for and accept support from others. So definitely getting the support that you need is what I'm seeing here, but also staying reflective. All right. Could be a break that you might need in a relationship or just altogether some peace. 
Let's see what's popping with my motherfucking water signs. I'm going to start out with my Pisces like I always do, baby. Give me the overall energies for my Pisces. For this full moon in Taurus, this rare moon, we have the five of wands here. Okay, Pisces. So I feel like a lot of you guys are clearing arguments, disagreements, gossip, extra motherfuckers, dusty motherfuckers, somebody who's having to fight over a pot of gold, possibly for some of you Pisces. I'm also getting that some of you guys could be dealing with um, multiple things, multiple faceted things that you're going to have to have some sort of interest in as well. Now, this could be multiple. Like I said, this is somebody who's talking or multiple people that are talking. Some of you guys might have an audience as well with this five of wands. But I also feel like there is somebody who's starting some shit or there could be a shit starter where some of you guys are going to have to put their motherfucking ass in their place. OK, could be some healing family issues that might be having to take place as well, too. But I do have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So whatever disagreements or people that could be around you, I feel a lot of you guys are going to have to pay attention. OK, Pisces. Now, for some of you Pisces, it looks to me like there is this energy of you having to get to know someone, okay, but also having to pay attention. This could be having multiple people or having multiple partners that you're interested in, whatever the case may be. It's too many motherfuckers here, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. So this could be happening during the full moon. Some of you guys might be releasing a lot of people as well, too. Straight like that, Pisces. Let's see what's popping to my Cancerians. Cancerians. Nigga be talking so much. Blunt be going out. Okay. Gotta light that whole back up. So let's see what's popping <laughs> with my Cancerians. Here we go. Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys might be dealing with a torrent, or there could be a torrent that's coming back to your energy, or this is someone that you've been dealing with for quite some time. Some of you guys might be dealing with possessive energy or possessions. As well, for some of you guys are just holding on. Now, Cancerians, y'all already know where our memory is like elephants in this bitch, okay? We can remember shit back in uh, 1818. So I feel like some of you guys might be holding on or there could be somebody that is holding on to you or there's a lot of possessive type of energy, very strong, torn energy. Some of you guys might have that in your chart, but I also feel like there's somebody who's holding on to a situation. Um, This could be, you know, how somebody is sitting around awaiting something as well or waiting some sort of results is what i'm picking up here you have religious factors can and your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so whatever it is that you believe in your other person might not believe in that shit too they might not have been born in that type of you know direction like i said you guys are definitely going through some spiritual changes as well the torn uh, energy is popping up very strong so this could be very effective to you as far as your cultural upbringing, your background, your spirituality, or how you're meshing together with your partner, okay? So, let's see what's up to my motherfucking Scorpios in this bitch. Scorpios, give me one card for my Scorpios in this motherfucker. Scorpios, porn moon, give it to me. For my Scorpios. I did just see the Ten of Swords as well. So there could be some endings that are happening. But major, major, uh, you know, communication that could be going down as well too. So I'm going to just take one random card. This is the Eight of Wands up in this bitch now. Scorpios, y'all know y'all are the motherfucking tornadoes. And I feel like some of you guys, there could be some mix-ups, some things that are being stirred up for some of you guys. This could be multiple people, multiple actions with this uh, Eight of Wands here. I'm also getting this could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries you might be dealing with, or this could be uh, in your sun, moon, or rising, or their sun, moon, or rising, whatever the case may be, Scorpios. Somebody is trying to mix up some bullshit, okay? This could be stirring drama, but so many things are in the air, okay, that somebody is trying to hold on to or keep. And it's storms and shit going on in the background. So somebody really needs to figure out their priorities is what I'm getting here. It says, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold. So this motherfucker's trying to do too much. Scorpios, I feel like either someone is trying to control you or you are trying to control them. And you just gonna have to say, fuck it. I'm at this point where 
I follow my rules or we compromise in this bitch. And if it ain't no compromise, then it's my rules. Straight like that. And so it could be some control issues that someone is going through, okay, trying to just hold on tight, okay, but also at the same time knowing that you need to feel vindicated. So let the situation unfold, okay, let everyone get heard and then make a decision, okay? So let's see what's popping. With my motherfucking earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Here we go. Give me one card for my Capricorns. One card for my Capricorns for this Taurus full moon. We have the four of cups in reverse. So either somebody was bored in this situation, they're trying to... Let go of some things in the past that could be plaguing them in their head, okay? But I definitely feel this could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio you might be dealing with. Some of you all, this just could be emotions altogether. But I do pick up there was some sort of boredom or somebody wasn't picking up on what they needed to correct or in their behaviors, the offers that were around, okay? Somebody needs to definitely think about the connections and how the flow and the vibe goes because this motherfucker looks exhausted. Some of y'all might be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries for sure, Okay? So let's see. I didn't even shuffle the bitch. Give me a card. Just seen chemistry, Capricorn. So it might be about the chemistry that's getting ready to take place with this full moon. Let's see. Give me one card. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it will come to your motherfucking ass now. All right. So you're going to have to make some decisions. Somebody might be in their head about making a decision or an offer that could be coming to them very, very soon, Capricorn. So get your ass ready. Okay. Let's see what's going down to my motherfucking tortoise. To my tortoise. Better finish that blunt, baby. To my tortoise. Give me the overall energies that they need to know about. What's going down? Tort, and we have the eight of cups. So something you're walking away from telling a motherfucker to kiss your ass. Okay, now there could be some emotion. Something is someone or something is trying to let the smoke clear. Okay, in the essence, I feel some of you guys are thinking about your bag as well, too. Some of you guys might be thinking about moving and going to calmer waters. All right, also could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel some of you guys, there could be a need for a walk or to take a walk. It's also saying, Torrance, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so some of you guys um need to understand that you are loved and that someone does want to love you and that there is you know time for mistakes but also time to walk away and find something better straight like that but some of you guys are definitely walking away from old emotions as well too i do see that as that now let's see what's popping to my motherfucking virgos in this bitch my motherfucking Virgos, full moon, give me the energies. We have the moon in reverse, so some truth is coming out, Virgo. Okay, this could be um, emotions, mysteries, things that were hidden at some point in time. You could be dealing with a Pisces as well. But I feel with this moon energy here, there's a lot of things that will be revealed. It could be in your finances and in your career. Um, it could be the way that things are flowing between you and your person, even in love or just all together. The love that you have. I feel like there's somebody who's going to be in mental reflection of things that are getting ready to change with this moon energy here. OK, so, you know, the moon is charging up as well, too. So some of you Virgos are definitely going to be charging up. You could be charging up your finances for sure. OK, Ow. I love you guys all so much. And I hope that you loved this. I just wanted to make sure that you all knew what was going down in your overall energies. And I love you guys all so much. I will be taking heed to this shit for my damn self. Okay. So if you need to get a personal reading, you already know what to do. And for the weekend, make sure you check out my four questions for $25. It should be down in the description box down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.